Hi, this is Kot Namat. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to check how good is the new version of ChatGPT for writing PyScript code. Uh, so um, here I have ChatGPT 01 preview um, version of ChatGPT. Supposedly, it can think and analyze better your request to write code better. So let's uh, test it how it looks. So um, first of all, I want to write like a simple um, strategy in PyScript. So I will say, okay, write me um, simple moving average cross strategy in PyScript. And let's see how it works. So as you can see, it writes you that it's actually thinking, uh, it will change kind of, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of end up with a plan. It starts to write the strategy, then it's kind of try to test it as well. So um, so let's see, let's just copy the output he got us and let's copy this to trading news so we can see if this actually uh, like work properly. So it seems to work, um, at least there we have no kind of errors. Let's look at the code. Uh, so yeah, it's computed simple moving averages, um, and, but we have only like one signal, so we have on the long signal, but we don't have short. So we'll just go and ask him to add short signal. You can see it's actually improving the code. Let's see if that it will end up with a with a short signal as well. And it's actually it's quite quick, so it just takes about you know ten. 30 second to, to, to write the code. So I think it's quite efficient. And from what I see now, it's definitely better than it was um, like um, in the beginning with ChatGPT like four only. So we um, so added uh, another version and um, yeah, it seem, thing seems to work. So now we have buy signal and um, we have like an entry long and strategy entry short when it's short signal. So well, it seems um, kind of to work fine. Um, yeah. But I don't see kind of any issues, but let's try to go and do something kind of a bit more advanced. Um, can you add um, a session to this strategy and um, allow entries only from Monday to Friday. Let's see if um, he will be able to get it and adjust the code. It takes a bit more time for him, it seems like to clarify. Let's see if um, he will end up with a kind of correct response. But you know, for, for now it seems like it works okay -ish. So um, let's see. So yeah, and what, what I see is happening is actually, it's actually updates the previous strategy. So it doesn't rewrite it from scratch based on my request, but it seems like it tries to rewrite it. And this is a good stuff. So, so current day of the week. So this is wrong, I think. So um, that's not correct. T-A-D down, the day of the week. So if I'll try to update it, it will be kind of an error here, obviously. So um, yeah, okay. So we just need to adjust it a bit and uh, remove TA here to for it to work. But let's update it, and most likely I think that it should be fine. So what what he coded? So it coded it kind of correct way, but it's he used kind of the wrong prefixes for the for the functions and for these built-in variables. Yeah, okay, well, I think that's, that's kind of fine, right? So you can just copy it and fix the issues that it actually um, produced. So I think that's that's more or less fine. Um, what else can we ask him? So, okay, uh, can you add a filter? Um, I want um, her site to be... Um, above um, like um, 74 short and below 34 long. 
Let's wait a bit and see if that he can add, he can sort this issue as well. Um, but like from what I see, you know, it's much, much more better than what was just in the four version of ChatGPT, and it's pretty exciting. Um, I think now it's become like workable. So now you can really start to use it to kind of write simple scripts and kind of learn Python script as well, because it's, it becomes a bit better. Okay. Okay, nice, interesting. So let's copy the code. Go here. And yeah, of course, we need to fix the stuff with the TA. He doesn't understand it. Um, but otherwise, it should be fine, I think. So let's update on the chart. Yeah, he, he also put it our every side the same um, and the same uh, chart. So this is why, you know, our chart is a bit weird, but I will comment this and okay. So yeah, I don't see, I don't see much entries here. So let me um, update the parameters so I can see more of them so you can check the values. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see much entries. I don't know why is that, but it seems like it's computed this okay. So it computed RSI, it added RSI to that. And also it um, wanted to be, um, you know, yeah, so for for buy RSI to be below 30 and for sell signal RSI 12, 7. So it seems to got the condition kind of right. So let's continue ask kind of several questions to it. So let's do some sort of plotting uh, questions. So um, can you plot? Plot um, green. Okay, let's let me. Can you um, remove RSI filter and add green green arrows for um, long um, signals and red for short? So let's see how it will um, end up kind of adjusting plotting for us takes a bit of time for it to understand what I want. It actually understood that I want to remove a side filter and it seems like it removed it well. And yes, it seems like it's plotted. Um, it's plotted actually the arrows fine. So let's see that. Yeah, of course, it doesn't understand TA. Um, let's update this. So as you can see, we do have, um, ah, yeah, so now we have here. So this is red arrow, this is a green arrow. So it seems to be fine. Um, and now we want to do something a bit more complex for him. So we'll mess up the mess up the code a bit, so I will receive an error, so let's see. So I will just um, update in the chart, and I like I have here wrong index, in, indent, so I want to give this information to him and ask him what's wrong. With this code, can you fix it for me? I think it's kind of a detail of, um, of Pine script, and I like really hope that it can understand what I mean here. Um, and I'm not sure you will, but let's try. I'll copy the error. And let's wait for a bit and see if we can make it. Yeah, um, <laughs> this is actually funny. 
So um, it actually understood that um, it actually took it wrong. So you can say instead of just day of the week, it just tried to repeat his own errors. So this is just, he, he doesn't understand this kind of knowledge. But let's see if this actually solved the problem, just including this into parentheses. Okay, so this actually this is correct. So you say, okay, you can also kind of put it into what kind of work one line without um, parentheses. So I think this actually solved the problem, right? We can copy that and um, paste in our um, code. Again, fix the TA prefix that he doesn't understand. But this actually was correct. So for me, I think quality is there and the value now is there for you to use for use the ChatGPT um, to uh, to write you the code and like especially this like O1 preview and for me how it works is that actually it starts to you know go to look at the you know maybe search for the web for the solution maybe find some similar stuff on some blocks or or like um, you know uh, Stack Overflow or something like this. It's just try to think it, it's like create a solution, then try to analyze it if it's correct or not, and maybe compare it with other solution on other websites. But, you know, like I, I like it, I, I like how it actually fixes you the code in here, for example, it fixes me the code and actually produced me like two different solutions. And both, I think, should work fine. I'm not sure about that. This might be not, might not work with the, without proper uh, uh, in kind of indent, but this will work. So for, for me, I think that's, Pretty interesting. So um, and well, we all know like how ChatGPT kind of um, improves over time, and you know I think even now it's quite usable. So check it out. I think it's very very interesting how um, you know they evolved, and now you basically can write your strategies and indicators in PyScript in with ChatGPT without kind of big much problems. So I think that's all for this video. This is very impressive stuff. Um, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.